Remember, uh, it's probably one of my favorite bands. It was actually one of the. It was the first punk rock band I ever saw. I was uh, 2006. I was 16. My friend Andrew Casey somehow convinced my mom to let me go to a punk rock show, which is so hard. My mom is the upright suburban housewife that just does not want her only child to get hurt. So we went to go see No Effects at the Worcester Palladium in 2006, and Fat Mike got so drunk that after urinating on stage, he passed out. Good it's a great first show ever. And this is a uh, this is a song by them. The first time I saw a done sentence They were the fastest band I'd ever seen No one in the crowd really cared for them They were waiting for the alley cats to play After a couple months I heard Kabuki Girl On Rodney and the Rock made Sunday night That was enough for me I hopped the bus to Licorice Pizza And bought my all-time favorite record Song sounded the same, it kinda sucked. Except John Wayne was a Nazi. Joey Shithead was a drunk. And John Messia beat something big to a pulp. Cause having long hair was a mistake. song I'm doing is another original. Um, um, I had just finished writing this one song and then all of a sudden, poof, epiphany, just inspiration filled my head and I just literally kicked the song out in 15 minutes. Chorus, words and all. Just one of those songs just like, your brain vomits yeah. everything on the piece of paper and it's there. And it came out pretty good. It's, a, it's kind of a folk song. It's about, uh, it's just about the war in these times. So this one's called Hymn for the Dead.
Thank you, dude. What's your name, brother? What's your name? It's Matt. Matt Ozell. Matt Ozell. The people call me Hose. Hose! Hose! People call me Hose my entire life. Hey, Hose. <laughs> Hose, who lives off Hooker Street. Uh, I have a friend whose last name is Zach. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough. I never called him anything. <laughs> Poor guy. Does he live on Ball Street? Is the question. <laughs> This next song is another cover. It's uh, by one of my favorite bands, uh, Bad Religion. Another good, yeah. Hudson's gonna die any day now. <laughs> 60 playing punk rock. Gotta give it to that old dude. I'm surprised he's not out there with an oxygen tank. He's old. This next Watch one. Um, he's my age. Watch it. <laughs> no way. He's gotta be. He looks way older than you do. Looks way older. <laughs> Anyway, before this guy comes up, <laughs> that is a compliment. OG Punk, baby. OG Punk, good. G. Good. G. 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 Allen. Fuck yeah. Good. I went when to I, when I moved here, that's one of the things that I people back there are saying, you're going, you're moving where G.G. Allen is from. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so don't answer. think that there's fucking G.G. Allen's on every street corner in New Hampshire. No. <laughs> Most people say, where's New Hampshire? Yeah. North of Massachusetts. It's right there. It's here. That's impressive. Yeah, that's, that's a good <laughs> this next song is called Sorrow. It's a sad song, but it's a, I love the sound of it. It's my favorite song. Let me take you to the burning ground Where all good men are trained down just to settle up and that could not be one between a prideful father and his son please guide me now for I can see our reason for the suffering and this long misery what if every living soul could be a mine and a soul? Well then I do imagine There will be sorrow There will be sorrow There will be sorrow no more Soldiers lay the weapons down. Oh well. When the kings and the queens relinquish their crowns. Oh, when the only true Messiah rescues us from ourselves. It's easy to imagine there will be sorrow. There will be. Signed on Epitaph by now. That was my song. Well, I don't know who else it is. You can say it if you want to. <laughs> it's yours now. <laughs> this next song, actually, I didn't even write it. The kid who had the lyrics 